Hello, it's D. I'm gonna adjust this camera just a little skosh. There we go. D with Divine Needle. This is an Age of Aquarius spiritual path tarot reading for tomorrow, which will be July the 14th, day 25, Age of Aquarius. Um, a very interesting um, image that I got yesterday when I was meditating and an equally interesting one today. Uh, today I started meditating and I instantly got a triangle. The next thing I know I'm looking at a pyramid with either a ship above it or the sun. I'm not sure which. but reminded me kind of of the dollar bill. <laughs> if you take a look at the back side of it. Yeah. With the eye. <clears throat> anyway, today's an interesting day. A significant day. We've been fasting. And it turns out our everything is destiny. It's not random chance like everybody thinks. But we just ha so happen to be fasting today on a moon day. Monday, right? Moon day. Goddess day. And it happens to be the 13th, the number that represents the goddess. Coincidence? I don't think so. They've been giving me tons of visions, tons. And one of them led me to my holy grail. <laughs> But I can't share that. Not yet. But I will. One day soon. Anyway. <clears throat> I'm going to put the energy of the card into the cards. So just give me a moment. All right, so it's going to be interesting to see what the cards have to say for tomorrow. So, let's begin. Overall energy for tomorrow. For all the devas. Overall energy for the devas tomorrow. Ace of Swords, the consummating sacred cinnabar. <laughs> I 
I love it. Brand new beginning in truth and clarity. <laughs> nice card to get. All right. That's the overall energy for tomorrow, guys. What's our highest priority? What's the David's highest priority? What's the David's highest priority for tomorrow? The Earth based angels, the David's. What's our highest priority for tomorrow? Okay. Whenever they have these long shuffles, they always do this to me. <laughs> Let's see what they got. They throw out books. The Initiate. The Emperor. Ten of Wands. Ten of Scepters, in other words. The Burdened One. Five of Chalices. The Grotesque. That's us. The Davis. The Destroyer. <laughs> Ten of Swords. Can't make that up. The dance is Shiva. And I know specifically what they're trying to tell me. And the champion. <laughs> Six of scepters. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is going to be a good one. Mm hmm. Yeah, guys. <laughs> okay, okay. Boy, that's a lot of cards. All right, but that's what they wanted, so that's what we're going to get on. Let me adjust this camera for all those cards. Or try to. Yeah, that may be a tricky ordeal here. Let me see what I can do. It's about the best we're going to be able to do. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> And what do we need to be mindful of and prepare for? What did the Davis? Okay, that was quick. <laughs> that, that was weird how that came out. The bread of life. We got two aces on the ground. And two tens. Fascinating. <laughs> oh, and the other full card. We got two full cards on the ground. This is a big reading. <laughs> a really big reading. Empress. Ace of Fire. <laughs> right under that. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Big things coming, babies. And little devas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's exciting. Really. I can't even tell you what the visions and what I know now because of what they showed me. <sighs> Very grand things waiting for us. <laughs> I'm, I'm just ecstatic. All right. So, let's start with this underlying energy. And resting and just smack the other fool card with it. And it shoved off the <laughs> emperor. Okay, here we go. The seeker, indeed we are, is the fool who seeks answers, who seeks to know. This is you in search of specific guidance. Use the seeker for key zero when divinatory insight is sought, when the adept needs guidance midstream along a path, or when you seek divine counsel on a material matter. Rose represents the goddess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice, the seeker. Overall energy for tomorrow. That's underlying energy, okay? Overall energy. Ace of Swords. The consummating. <laughs> I know what that's about. Okay. There we go. Sacred Cinnabar. 
Realization comes to you in an instant and your knowledge will deepen. Air is alchemizing in your world, materializing as intellectual property, achievement of glory, or social advancement. If you take up the sword to fight, to work, to invest, the effort, and toil, then victory will be yours. You conquer others when you conquer yourself. High achievement. This, my friends, is the sword of destiny. Sort of truth and clarity. See that crown? That belongs to the goddess. The motif in the center says a huge story. The rightful heir to that crown is the goddess. Any males that step forward for that crown are the Antichrist. Just remember that. All right. Now, second of the two of, of three fool cards, we got two. The initiate, spirit in search of experience. Notice the wheel in the sky, destiny. Rose motif once again, that's the goddess. Then you have the pyramidal shapes here. That is upside down. If you look at this card upside down, representations of the Holy Grail the egg, the seed, the serpent, right? Fascinating. The initiate personifies a return to spring. <laughs> I know exactly what they're talking about. Starting a new cycle of growth. Ab incuna bliss. From cradle to grave. Ab eterno. Since the beginning. Use the initiate key. Zero. When inquiring about a new undertaking. When a path has not yet been chosen or taken or when insight is needed on which road to take forward. Use the initiate as your signify, as your card. When you, what is sought is experience. How might you decide between potential paths? Are you embarking on a fresh start in life? What is your potential? Ab inito mundi. From the beginning of the world to this day, do you need a little divine guidance on how to map out your path? Access the cards through the initiate as your card. Yep. <laughs> I know exactly what they're talking about here, at least regarding myself. You guys probably have different things <clears throat> that this will be relating to. Major Arcana, again, key four, the Emperor. When the Emperor appears to you, your power of self-determination is being affirmed. You have the power to determine what is and what will be for yourself. Your task, define your destination, and then lead the charge. The Emperor appears when you are being called to direct and reign. Overcome your fears, because it is now time for you to conquer new frontier. Wield your authority with a plum. That is the Aries card. Notice who the Emperor is. They have a pentacle in their hand. Burdened one, ten of scepters. The spirit resident in this card is the carrier of sorrows. 
the burdened one is oppression we bring onto ourselves when we don't temper or when we have acquiesced to others using us as their beast of burden. The series of decisions you have made along the way have led up to this culminating point of unduly carrying the responsibility of others. Are the hands of spirit holding the rods to help you carry the weight of your load? Or are the hands of spirit presenting the burden to you to test your strength, resolve, and perseverance? Is this a divine trial or divine assistance? The mystic rose at the center between the hands symbolize a secret, a mystery, indicating that you don't know everything. There are greater reasons for why you are where you are. There is purpose, and you are not yet privy to what that purpose is. The Ten of Scepters is the card a laborious task. Five of Chalices, the Grotesque. The grotesque is loss after the waning of joy, a personal feeling of disfigurement, a mystery, an unseen power rising. When your blood, sweat, and tears have been expended without yielding fruition or meaning, the grotesque is the spirit who will appear by your side. Yet behind the grotesque are two intact chalices, symbolic of powers and personal talismans to help navigate social circumstances where you feel like the disfigured one, the outcast, and to gift you with arcane powers that you have always been reserved for the grotesque ones, the devas, the earthbound angels. Your differences, which others have de denigrated, are the very powers and talismans that will catapult you above all others and toward greatness. The grotesque is the spirit here to guide you on that daunting aspiration. We've had this card several times. We need to pick up our cups and get across this river to this pentacle. The Destroyer, Ten of Swords, the Dance of Shiva, I don't know particularly what they're telling me about right now, <clears throat> specifically. Hmm. The Destroyer is Ruin Personified. Here you are watching the Dance of Kali. A wave of catharsis crashing into the shores of your psyche. The destroyer is downfall as a consequence of our acts. There has been a fall from grace. The destroyer appearing before you can be an omen from a death spirit or a triple goddess motif portending doom, destruction, or plunder. If you have erred, and let pride or glory corrupt you, then the destroyer is here to cut down that pride and glory so that you might find your way back onto the rectified path of wisdom. If you have unduly betrayed or hurt, been hurt by another, then the destroyer is here to pull the swords out from your back and will ravage vengeance, vengeance on your behalf. What goes around will come around. Indeed. The destroyer is here to warn you of deception afoot, treachery, perhaps even treason that threatens your well-being. Be cautious of your environment and who you're trusting. The Dance of Kelly. That triple goddess motif. One of them's called, interestingly, Nemesis. For those that have been following me since the beginning of my journey, you'll know clearly what that means. <laughs> the Champion, Six of Scepters.
The champion is the spirit of victory. When the six of scepters appears, success will be yours. Yet here we are reminded there are two sides to victory. The champion can bring wisdom, wealth, seed, life, dominance, peace, and grace, as noted in the seven double letters corresponding with the sacred seven planetary rulers and the back wall archways. Likewise, the champion can bring folly, poverty, desolation, death, subjugation, war, and ugliness. The imagery of the spirit here conveys the core of the message. To be the champion, one must be oblivious to pain. For there to be victory, there must be self-sacrifice. If you seek to defeat your opponents in competition or combat, then with the support of the champion, you will be victorious, though with it comes personal sacrifice. Victory always necessitates personal sacrifice. Big day tomorrow. For the devas, the grotesque one. big day and what to be mindful of and prepare for the bread of life ace of orbs the darkening plenitude of resources earth is alchemizing in your world materializing as an investment that yields fruition or a new undertaking in matters relating to personal economics and commerce might I also add that these, the orbs are pentacles. They're also spiritually based. So a new beginning possibly in the spiritual realm as well. When the card appears to you, you are about to receive that which shall nourish you spiritually and also bring you a sense of worldly prosperity. What is to come will feed the many. The Asa Orbs endows you with beginning access to the sacred mysteries and the beginning stage of acquiring the gift of prophecy. You will achieve the capability to do what it is you seek to do. And that has everything about them showing me the Holy Grail in a vision and what I learned. The Bread of Life. I found the Holy Grail. Sorry to be so cryptic, but I'm I'm hesitant to share just yet, but I will. Anyway, I love you guys beyond all reason. And if I'm right about what I'm right about, fantastic days to come. Gorgeous little earthbound devas. <laughs> I'm very excited. Anyway, have a wonderful Tuesday. And I hope you spend it with someone or someone, many someones that are special to you. Anyway, until tomorrow. <laughs>